Good evening, and welcome to our presentation on a soil erosion assessment of the Redwood Creek watershed, located within the Golden Gate National Recreation Area in Marin County, California. For this study, we have employed the use of the revised Universal Soil Loss Equation, Russell, to assess runoff potential into sensitive species habitat of Redwood Creek. This evening, please enjoy our presentation, hosted by myself, Kevin Eng, and my teammates, Maggie Chen and Kendra Mann. Our project study area is the Redwood Creek Watershed in Golden Gate National Recreation Area. Redwood Creek is located in Mare Beach in Marin County, California, and it is within Golden Gate Biosphere Reserve and is designated by the United Nations to provide a global network of major ecosystem types. This is the focus area of our study. The Redwood Creek watershed faces an uncertain feature. Climate change is affecting weather patterns which create extremes in precipitation. Impervious surfaces lead to unnaturally high water flow rates during storm events. Historically improper land management has led to degraded ecosystems that can be more susceptible to climate change impacts. Urban development has negatively affected unrestored riparian buffer zones to the point of collapse. This all culminates in a highly stressed environment for the biotic community that relies on Redwood Creek. Most notably, endangered and threatened salmonid species that spawn within the creek itself. The research objectives. Russell. Can the Russell model predict areas of high soil erosivity in the Redwood Creek watershed? Why do we care about soil erosion? How is Russell utilized to assess soil erosion and or soil loss? For analysis, usable raster data sets, specific to each factor were first located. A layer was then generated for each of the revised universal soil loss equation variables, and each variable requires its own parameters for geoprocessing. Then soil erosion risk was calculated in ArcGIS on a pixel by pixel basis by combining the five factors through the use of the raster calculator tool. And the final map shows the area with high or low soil erosion potential. The Russell formula, A, is equal to R times K times LS times C times P. Russell is comprised of five major factors used to calculate soil loss. Each factor estimates a specific condition that affects the severity of soil erosion. A is equal to the average soil loss in tons per acre per year. R, rainfall runoff erosivity factor. K, soil erodibility factor. LS, slope length and degree factor. C, land management factor. And finally, P, conservation practice factor. The R factor represents the erosive powers of rainfall energy. Weather stations were selected from NOAA Climate Data website and their precipitation data was downloaded. The mean annual precipitation value or map value was calculated from the NOAA data and then imported as a feature layer to ArcMap. Then the map raster file was created using the interpolation IDW tool. And finally, the raster calculator was used to calculate the R factor with Michalova's equation. The K factor, or soil erodibility factor, reflects soil types and their erosion rates. The USDA Web Soil Survey data was used to find the K factor. The silt percent, sand percent, and clay percent of the soil was joined together. The joined soil data was then clipped to the Redwood Creek watershed layer, and a new field was added to calculate the K factor. To calculate the K factor, the proposed alternative soil erodibility factor equation was used in the field calculator. Then, the polygon was converted back to a raster. The LS factor, slope, length, and degrees. The LS factor evaluates the potential for rain to carry sediment compared to length and slope. Data was gathered using USGS 1 meter digital elevation models, or DEM. DEM was converted to a slope raster using the slope tool. The DEM was again converted to a flow direction raster to calculate downslope flow of water. This was then used to calculate the flow accumulation. Using the Moore and Birch equation in the raster calculator, the Ellis raster was produced. The C factor, or cover management factor, reflects the effects that vegetation cover and soil disturbing activities have on erosion rates. The national land cover data was used to find the C factor. The extract by mass tool was used to mask the Redwood Creek watershed layer with the land cover data. 
The raster file was then converted to a polygon, and the similar land use land cover classes were merged together. Next, a field was added to include the C-factor index for each land use land cover class. Once the C-factor was added, the polygon was converted back to a raster file. Erosion control, or P-factor, represents erosion control practices that can reduce soil erosion. From our research, we have found that P is usually used to calculate the supporting effects of practices, and most often this variable is assigned a 1 value, which indicates that there's no supporting practices in place within the study area. Since our project is focused on evaluating soil erosion risk instead of estimation of actual soil loss, the 1 value would be set for our P-factor in our study. A factor, or soil loss, is the final outcome of the Russell model. Soil loss predicts the long-term average annual erosion of soil by water. In solving for A, we gathered all the raster maps from the R, K, LS, C, and P factors. The geoprocessing was completed using the raster calculator to solve the Russell equation. A is equal to R times K times LS times C times P. The final outcome is a raster map for soil loss. The output shows soil loss as the A factor, measured in tons per acre per year, as a raster map spatially showing the soil erosion risk of the Redwood Creek watershed on a pixel-by-pixel -pixel basis. Regions with minimal soil erosion potential are represented in purple, and regions with greater soil erosion potential are represented in yellow to red. Readily available spatial imagery, the Russell model has shown to be successful in predicting areas of high soil erosivity within the Redwood Creek watershed. As you can see, some areas are affected by certain factors more than others. The northern part of the watershed is greatly affected by all the factors, while the southern portion of the watershed is more affected by the LS and C factors. This shows how slope length and steepness and land cover have a great influence on erosion rates in this area. Identifying these areas is important to help land and restoration managers determine the best management actions to reduce sediment loading to Redwood Creek in order to protect the threatened salmon and species here. Based on our findings, it is recommended to share this soil loss map with land and restoration managers to help make informed decisions of how to manage soil erosion runoff into Redwood Creek. This map targets key areas with high erosion risk and potential areas to implement soil stabilization techniques. As time passes, the factors within the Russell equation continue to change. However, this equation is easily modified with updated spatial imagery data and will continue to help identify areas of soil erosion risk. In summary, using the Russell model and GIS together is a great tool to identify areas of soil loss concern within a watershed. These maps can help managers determine best management practices to reduce sediment loading impacts to nearby waterways. As the southernmost natural salmon run, soil stabilization techniques must be implemented to reduce soil loss and help further restore Redwood Creek to a thriving stream habitat. On behalf of myself and my team, I would like to thank you for joining us during this presentation this evening. This is a production for the Intermediate GIS Graduate Level course at the University of San Francisco, produced spring of 2020.